trying this out on my Samsung S9 Plus. And I hope This is an adapter I purchased on eBay. It's a micro female connector to USB-C. I'm hoping I can use this in combination with this device and my phone. Let's open it up. This is the device itself. 128 gigs. I want the uh, Lexar, so I'm going to go to the Play Store and look for the Lexar app. Okay, so I did finally find an app that'll work. You know, I'm just switching over to Android. So I've had this Android phone, um, Samsung S9 Plus, for about a month and a half, maybe two. I come from an iPhone uh, ecosystem. And one thing I got to say, I mean, iPhones, basically, when you buy them and you pick them up, they just work. Everything works. You don't have to figure anything out. When I bought this device for my iPhone X, you plug it in, and it actually tells you what app to use. It's a, it sends you to the app store. But I don't notice that with the uh, Android phones. You know, pretty much the iPhone has a two-year-old learning curve. If you're two years old or above, you can use an iPhone. It's You can't say that about an Android phone. So, I, I mean, I... I like Android. I like that there's competition, but it's not an easy phone to use. It's not something that anybody can pick up and start using. It's different. Very, very different. It's more, it, they have, it basically has too many choices. It's just too many choices. And I like uh, Apple making a lot of the choices. It makes it easier on choosing something. And just one other thing is, and again, I've only been using it for two months. The... Uh, Apps are a lot, most of them are ad-based. I don't want ads on my phone. It drives me crazy. I can't tell you how many times I accidentally installed something because it was um, ad-based and a pop-up comes up and I'm clicking on it because I'm going to press the button for the app. And when I put my finger on the phone, it's turned into a, an ad and I'm over there installing stuff. You know, I just, I, it's just confusing. I, but anyway, that's just my little rant. But I still like the phone. It's very good. It takes a lot of nice pictures and everything. But And I'm getting used to it. So I'm going to try it out for a year. So that was just some of it. But anyway, so the reason I say that is because I plug this in and nothing happens. It just actually just tells me to uh, uh, open up 
one of these apps that I already have installed, whereas the iPhone tends to send you to the app specifically made for the device that you're plugging in, to the App Store with no ads. So I bought the File Manager Plus. This one I already had, um, but um, I think this one's ad-based. But I don't use that one. It doesn't do what I need it to. So I'm using the File Manager Plus, and I bought the non-ad based one. I don't know. It was like one ninety nine or two ninety nine. So this seems to do the work. And what I want to do is, when I'm taking pictures and videos, and I'm outside, I don't want to have to wait till I get home sometimes to offload it because I might run out of space. So I'd rather just offload it. I don't want to play media from here. I want to take this media from here and put it in here. I don't really watch videos and stuff on my uh, phone. I do that mostly on my iPad. So I click on the File Manager Plus. Let me do Always. And this is nice. I like the interface. It's really nice looking. Uh, it tells me what the SD card is, how much I have in there. It shows me the apps, images, audios. It, it's pretty cool. I, and I just installed this maybe a day ago, and it's really easy to use. So that's the best part about it. It tells me how many images I have, how much space, as you can see, with the icons there. That's the USB storage. It's uh, I'm using 15 megs of 128, so I don't have nothing in there. And what I'm looking to do is offload all my images. So let me click on the images. And uh, let me go to the camera. And there's a way. No, nope, that's not it. Is it this one? Nope. It's just images, camera, and everything. So, like I said, this is the app I got. Go plugged in, sub menu. Shows my SD card, main storage. Uh, it's not showing my USB here. And there's my favorites and images, SD card. Okay, let me go back to here. So what I want to do is I figure how do we I pick? Okay. So I just pick them all. Uh, this got to be a select though. I just don't know where it is right now. But this is what I'm using for now. This is just to transfer the images. So no way I could. Anyway. So you do this. And then. I, I think you click on here. No. That's not it over here no hold on let me check this out so once you choose a picture choose a couple of them you can see down here move cut delete the more options share properties i'm going to do cut okay and then the paste comes out underneath i go back here back to home click on the USB and put it on those are pictures put it here and paste it here so now what I'm doing is I'm moving the stuff the pictures from the internal storage to the USB which is what I want to do when out you know while I'm outside so again um, Images. Let's go to images and camera. So again, I'll go here. I choose it. See, before you choose, huh, before you choose, nothing's underneath. So if you choose a couple of them, it's got to be a select though. I just, <laughs> you know, I just got the app, so I'm messing around with it. Um, I have 589 pictures, so I can't do it this way. So I do cut again. Go back. Go to the home, go here, go to the pictures, paste, and go there and you can see 22 pictures have been pasted. So, 
it works. It's doing what I needed to do. I'm using an adapter because it came with a, uh, it's a micro connection. So like I said, I was, I was using this one with my iPhone and it just worked. It just worked. I did a video on it already. It just worked. So now I'm trying this with the Android. So I got it to work. I just have to figure out how to do the select all or something. Um, so I like it. The memory thing works. And it does what I needed to do. And the app that I'm using again, uh, File Manager Plus. Let me see if there's an about here. Uh, no. Okay. Nice and sunny. Nothing there. It's called Messenger Plus and seems to be working. Does what I need. File Manager Plus. And that's the icon. From the Android store and running version 8 of Android on a Samsung phone. Okay. I just found the select all. So it's, uh, you, you uh, click on one, right? And you just, I'm sorry, click on one picture. Click on one, hold, click and hold on one, click here to select all. That's it, select all, I go to the bottom, I go to cut, go back to the other side, go to the home screen, to the USB storage, go to pictures, and paste everything there. Look at that. That is awesome. So that's how I'm offloading the pictures off my Android phone so that it doesn't take up too many. Uh, well, it's mostly videos I'm doing actually. They're the ones with the biggest space. But it works. It's working. It's all moving. I checked it. All the pictures came over. And I'm basically deleting them off my phone and putting them onto this device right here, which is, as you saw in the video, 128 gigs. Okay. Thank you. Bye.